We haven't shared a salmon recipe in a little bit, but my oh my, is this one delicious? It is so simple, but the flavors are just mm, 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 mm. Check this out. Hey everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a brown sugar and mustard glazed salmon. This has just a few ingredients. The glaze is just packed with flavor. Dijon mustard, brown sugar, lemon juice, and it just comes together for a winning combination. And my kids totally love this because it's a little bit sweet, so good. And I'm hungry for salmon, so let's get started. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you click that little bell icon so you can get notifications every time we post a new recipe. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll start with the simple glaze. In a small mixing bowl, combine 1 4th cup of packed light brown sugar, 2 tablespoons of Dijon mustard, 1 tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice, and 1 tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Season that with half a teaspoon of fine sea salt and a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Stir to combine and set that aside. Line a large rimmed baking sheet with a sheet of parchment paper. This will make it much easier to clean up. I always like to check for bones, so run your fingers over the tops of the salmon and if you feel any pokes, you can remove those with some tweezers. Arrange your salmon pieces over the parchment lined baking sheet. You can use anywhere from one and a half to two pounds of salmon. This is two pounds of salmon, and these are huge fillets, but you can easily get six servings out of this recipe. Divide your glaze evenly over your salmon fillets. I like to use a pastry brush to brush that glaze all over the tops and sides of the fillets. Evenly spreading the glaze ensures that every bite is delicious. Also, there's no need to marinate this. As soon as the glaze is on, it's ready to be baked. Make sure the oven is fully preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit with a rack in the top third of the oven. Now bake for about 12 minutes or until the internal temperature at the thickest part reaches 145 degrees Fahrenheit. A thinner filet cooks faster while a thicker salmon filet takes longer in the oven. This is my favorite instant read thermometer and I will link to it in the notes. Checking the temperature ensures that your salmon is cooked perfectly every time. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I can smell the sweetness of the glaze and I cannot wait to eat this. So we're gonna plate it and get right into the taste test. All right, okay, just transfer it to a platter. Oh, these are perfectly cooked. You wanna get the salmon to 145 degrees Fahrenheit, so the amount of time you bake will depend on what kind of salmon you have and how thick it is. So definitely check it at 12 minutes and bake longer if you need to, because you don't wanna overcook your salmon. These are really big pieces of salmon. <laughs> All right, but you should know by now, we love big portions. <laughs> Especially when it's salmon. I mean, come on. There's no guilt there. This is good for you. Because salmon is rich in omega-3s, all right? This is your lesson for the day. <laughs> Brain food. So once you've got it on the platter, it's perfectly okay to go back to the baking tray if you've got a clean brush and just add some of that glaze over the top because that is flavor and it kind of caramelizes on the baking sheet. It's so good. Okay, and I do love to scatter lemons on the platter because there's lemon in the salmon glaze and then it just looks pretty. <laughs> it just looks good. Also, if you're wondering about the Band-Aid, this was from slicing the lemons. Ouch. <laughs> Here I am teaching you all how to use a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. All right, be careful cutting round objects, okay? That is another lesson for today. Okay, and I probably should have put these lemons on first before I put the salmon down. But isn't that pretty? It's just so pretty. It just makes a simple recipe look super fancy and we like that, right? Okay, and a little bit of parsley because just adding a little pop of green color is lovely. We're gonna try not to slice the finger off this time. 
<laughs> oh, don't do that. And I'm hurrying because I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sprinkle it all over the top. Get some on the platter. Look how pretty that is. Now we took a super, super simple salmon recipe and dressed it up and look how fancy this looks, okay? Ah. <laughs> Can't wait to dig in. This is so good with some simple steamed veggies and white rice or mashed potatoes. It just pairs well with just about anything, but I'm just gonna dig in right now because I'm hungry and I don't even have a fork, so hang on. Okay, <laughs> let me show you how juicy and flaky this salmon is. All right, here we go. Come to mama. <laughs> I love salmon. Oh. Ten out of ten. This is so delicious. Really easy recipe. I mean, this comes together and it's done within like 15 minutes. It's so quick and just so many layers of flavor. You can really taste that Dijon in there, but it's not overpowering. And then there's that little bit of lemon, a little bit of olive oil, and then the brown sugar caramelizes in the oven and it just gives this nice sweetness to the salmon. That kind of tastes like the smoked candied salmon that we've enjoyed in Seattle from my cousin Ala. It is just, this is so good. <laughs> I hope you guys love this and that it becomes a new favorite recipe in your family. Also, if you guys spotted Sharky, dun dun dun, he is in the video somewhere, so let me know if you found him and let me know where you saw him in the video in the comments. All right, Sharky and I are gonna go enjoy the salmon very much, so we'll see you in our next video. So good, so good. It's even better than yesterday somehow. I didn't broil it this time, it was not necessary. It doesn't have to be browned, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So good. I gotta use this marinade for chicken. <laughs>